Happy Monday, everyone. It's weather for Weather Geeks time, and we're going to get to today's weather in just a second. I wanted to share a cool graphic with you showing uh, snow in January for this year and recent years, and kind of uh, do a little comparing here. Well, average snow uh, through January 26th, yesterday, is uh, up around 15 inches for the month of January. But this month, the green line right here, uh, we're up over 20, 23, 24 inches uh, around uh, southeastern Trumbull County, where the airport is, uh, where the records are kept. Uh, so it's been a little snowier than average this January. Compared to last year, it's quite a bit snowier. This is last year's line down here. We had barely 10 inches worth of snow through the 27th of January last year. But this year, while it has been snowier than average and snowier than last year, it has not been as snowy as 2012 and 2011, which are these two lines up here. So uh, it's been snowier than average, but we've had worse Januaries in terms of snow very, very recently, as recently as a couple of years ago. All right, speaking of snow, we had it last night. We've had it in parts of the area this morning. I'm recording this uh, Weather Geek video this morning at about 8.10 a.m. Here's what's going on. Southeastern Columbiana County down towards East Liverpool. That's kind of the last spot that's seeing snow this morning. In fact, we have sunshine elsewhere. But uh, still some decent snowfall rates down towards the river here, uh, producing some slick conditions. And even though not much snow is falling from the sky elsewhere, the wind is howling, and that's causing blowing snow. So uh, especially in open areas, you can uh, see the visibility reduced. You can see snow blowing back onto the road and causing slick spots all day today with the wind just howling. Now, when I came to work this morning at the lovely hour of 3 a.m., it was like 37 degrees. We had a warm front overnight that spiked the temperature up for only a couple of hours. And now temperatures have tumbled. It's dropped 25 degrees in the last five hours. It's only 13 now in Youngstown. And that's only part of the story. Let's take a look at those wind chills. Here in the 8 o'clock hour, the wind chill, minus 6 Youngstown, minus 8 over towards Ravenna. And it's uh, pretty close to these values up in northern Ohio as well. And wind chills will be pretty close to minus 10 for a lot of the day today. So uh, the Arctic air is coming back with a vengeance, but the snow, for the most part, is now done today. Might be the uh, flurry. That should about do it. The big story is now the cold. Take off the radar. We'll take a look at temperatures off to the west. It's below zero across the Midwest this morning. Take a look at these readings in Minnesota. As cold as 22, 23 below in spots. Wind chills, uh, ugly. Feels like almost minus 50 in parts of Minnesota right now. This is the air mass that's coming our way. Now, I don't think wind chills will be minus 50 here tomorrow morning, but minus 30 is going to be a possibility. So we've got dangerous cold accompanied, accompanied by wind for Tuesday morning, and that will mean that uh, you know schools are going to be canceled. Uh, it's the kind of cold where frostbite can set in in 10 minutes or less you leave anything exposed to the wind. So if you work outside, if you have any reason to be outside more than a couple of minutes tomorrow, you, you got to really take precautions. And uh, it's going to be almost that bad Wednesday morning as well. So uh, I wanted to show you real quickly here yeah, this temperature spike I spoke of in the middle of the night. This is my home weather station temperature graph here. Let me actually move my browser a little bit so you can see the scale over on the, on the left. Well, maybe you're not going to be able to. Anyway... Here's that spike. It got up to 38 degrees at about 245 this morning, and then look at the quick tumble ever since. Again, 25 degrees colder in the last five hours. And in the wake of our cold front, as the temperature drops, the barometer rises. Here's the chart showing the, the barometric pressure very rapidly rising this morning, so that usually does uh, coincide with, with a uh, cold frontal passage. Oftentimes, uh, as the front is just passing, the barometric pressure bottoms out, and then it rises quickly after the front moves through. Well, how cold is it going to get tonight? That's uh, the question. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, it's going to get below zero, certainly. It's a matter of how far below zero it's going to get. Our latest uh, short-range ensemble model forecast takes us down to about minus 7, minus 8, right in through here. Here's the scale, a little hard to read, over on your left. And I think that's pretty close to where most backyards will check in tonight. Minus 7, minus 8, maybe someone gets to minus 10. Uh, these are not record temperatures. It won't be as cold as it was a couple or three weeks ago when it got down to minus 12, but certainly cold enough. And uh, again, wind chills will be well below zero. So we've got a brutal night coming up for tonight. Otherwise, uh, the weather will be quiet for midweek. Here's Tuesday's surface map with high pressure centered off to our west. We'll see some sunshine Tuesday. That high will be almost right overhead on Wednesday. So it's going to be a bright and sunny day Wednesday, but it's going to be cold again. No higher than the lower teens Wednesday afternoon. And uh, then as we head towards the end of the week, Thursday's tranquil. Friday will bring an increase in clouds. 
actually late Thursday the clouds will increase. And then Friday we do have the chance of a little snow out of this. The models are not in great agreement for Friday and Saturday, but uh, the European model, which I'm showing here, does bring just a little bit of snow around for Friday. If this were to verify exactly, this could be an inch or two at the very end of the week. Now the weekend's going to bring a warm-up. This is Saturday morning surface map. Saturday morning low pressure uh, probably near Detroit. Cold front back here, but a warm front over here will be in between, and we could spike up to in, well into the 30s on Saturday, perhaps even 40s if we're lucky. It's going to rain a little bit, I think, but I don't think we'll mind the rain with a nice thaw coming at the start of the weekend. And then we've got Sunday coming up. That's Groundhog Day. It's Super Bowl Sunday. So much gnashing of teeth and worrying and hype and predictions about the weather at the Super Bowl. It's a cold weather climate. Oh, my gosh, there might be a blizzard. They might have to move the game to a different day. Looks like it's just going to be partly cloudy. <laughs> you know, the weather's really not going to be much of a story at all. It's going to be seasonably cold, but nothing unusual at all. Uh, for, for the New York City, northern New Jersey area. It's going to be cold by Super Bowl standards. Of course, the Super Bowl is usually played in New Orleans or Miami or Arizona. So for the Super Bowl, yeah, cold, but it's not going to be, you know, a blizzard. It's not going to be in the teens. It's going to be kind of ho-hum, eh, the 30s, partly cloudy. Weather's going to be pretty much a non-factor. So that's the way it's looking for that. All right, uh, real quickly, long-range temperatures. Here's our forecast based on our, uh, our GFS computer model here for the next 16 days. The black line that doesn't move goes straight across. That's average. That's where we should be. The model's forecasting temperatures by the weekend to get pretty close to average, perhaps even somewhat above average uh, if, if things work out just right for us by Saturday. And we're going to kind of bob around a little bit, it looks like, early on next week. But then there is a pronounced downward trend, it looks like as we head towards uh, the uh, second week of February. So the first week of February doesn't look really typical. Pretty, uh, you know, moderate midwinter weather. Second week of February, we do have the chance to turn chilly. Maybe not as cold as we are now. I hope not, anyway. But uh, colder than that first week of February. All right. Obviously, I'm in the morning shift today, so you'll see me on uh, uh, 21 News Midday today, coming up at noon. Mike Joyce will have you covered tonight at 6 and 11. I'm back in my usual spot uh, on the 6 and 11 shows Tuesday through Friday. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching today's Weather for Weather Geeks.